welcome to greeting sentence lesson okay this lesson you're gonna learn some sentence when you want to say uh, the greeting word to Cambodian people okay so now now let's start together okay the first word for this lesson is hello okay so hello in Khmer we say suasaday suasaday Mm. So when you come to Cambodia and you want to say hello to Cambodian people, okay, just use this word, so today. And sometimes you, you, you're gonna hear Cambodian people say hello. They don't say this word in Khmer. So don't be wonder because some people, they like to say hello, hello. Mm. So I can say you can use both. You can use English word, hello, or you can use Khmer word, so today. Okay, so today. How are you? Okay. So how are you in Khmer? You have two to say. Okay. If you think that guy, if you think that guy is older than you, you call them bong. Eh? You call them bong. And if that guy, if you think younger than you, okay, just call them own. Own. Hmm? Okay. So for this sentence, we say, uh, okay, the first one, you say, bong sok sabai te. Bong sok sabai te, and you see with the with the green color, I I, I write O T. So we say art, art. So T and art is a question word. It's a question word we use in yes no question. In yes no question. So how are you? It from the sentence are you fine or not? Are you fine or not? So for kind of this question, you have to use this word at the end, te or art. But you cannot use both. You just use only one. If you use they, not odd. If you use odd, not they. But you see, I put odd with green color. It means Cambodian people always use this one. So I can say, if I say this sentence, I'm gonna say, Bong sok sabai odd. Bong sok sabai odd. Okay. Or I can say, they we use in formal situation, and odd we use in informal situation or i can say for for casual speaking we use art okay so again uh, how are you bong sok sabai art uh, if that guy is older than you and uh, the second one on sok sabai art on sok sabai art if that guy is younger than you uh, okay and below is the word fine Sok sabai, sok sabai. So this sentence we say, are you fine? Hmm. Okay. And then when someone asks you with this question and you 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 wanna answer with this question, okay, you're gonna say, I'm fine, right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So I'm fine in Khmer you say, khnom, khnom sok sabai, khnom sok sabai. I mean, I I is khnom. Hmm. So I am fine. Khyom sok sabai. But... Okay, so can send 10. When you want to ask someone about name. What's your name? Okay, so this send 10 in Khmer, we say... Uh, bong or own. Huh? Okay, I told you already. When you when you use bong, is that guy older than you? When you use own, is that guy younger than you? So, okay, depend on you. So, I can say... What's your name? So in Khmer, you're gonna say Bong Chmu A. Bong Chmu A. Okay, so Bong is you and Chmu is name. Name. Uh, and A is what? A is what? So in English, what's your name? But in Khmer, you have to say you name what? Uh, you name what? Okay. And then for your answer with this question, you're gonna say, my name is. My name is. So in Khmer, you're gonna say, Khnyom Chmua. And then your name. Khnyom Chmua. Like, for example, uh, your name is John. So you say, my name is John. So in Khmer, you say, Khnyom Chmua John. John. Okay, so again, I read this page again. I'm fine. 
What's your name? Bong chmu A or On chmu A. My name is Knyom chmu. Knyom chmu. Okay. Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay, this sentence in Khmer we say Ne. Uh, okay, the first one. I have two to say. The first one you say Ne. Mok. Okay, so this is a way for, for writing or we use in a formal way. But for speaking, we always use the second one. You see? Okay, I have a green color. It means they change from the first one to the second one. Okay, so uh, the second one, when you come to Cambodia, you're going to hear people say, Ne. Mao P. Patehna. Ne Mao P. Patehna. So you see, the first one, Merk. But for speaking, they say Mao. Uh, so then we wonder when you hear Mao is Merk. And Prote. Prote. When we say, we 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 gonna say Pate. Pate. You see, very short. So did we, we, we don't say prote. We say pate. Okay. So again, ne mao pi pate ne. Ne mao pi pate ne. Where are you from? But, and below is the vocabulary to come. You see, for writing, merk. But for speaking, mao. Merk mao from p. Mm. So this sentence, where are you from? When we translate in Khmer, you have to say come from. Yeah, come from. Mm. Country. Prote. Prote. But for speaking, we say pate. Pate. Okay. So again, I read this sentence for you again. Where are you from? The first one. Ne mok pi prote ne. And for speaking. Ne mao pi prote ne. Ne mao pi prote ne. Okay. And then you answer. Like for example, you you are from America. So I'm from I'm from America. So I'm from America. In Khmer you say. Knyom uh, Mok Pi You see? Uh, me mean I come from I come from Knyom Mok Pi Prote Okay America Okay, in English you say America But in Khmer, we, uh, you're gonna say America America Okay, so again uh, The first one Knyom Mok Pi Prote America and then for speaking, number two, you're going to say Knyom Mao Pi Pate The same last page Knyom Mao Pi Pate Amirik You see, Knyom Mao Pi Pate Amirik And you have one more option That's shorter than the second one You can silent Pate Because we understand we talk about country So yeah, you, you can silent country. So you, you just say Knyom Mao Pi I come from and then silent but they, uh, country you start with name of the country. So Amerik Right? Okay, so again Knyom Mao Pi Amerik Knyom Mao Pi Amerik Okay So uh, the best one Okay, choose the third one and yeah, choose the third one. Okay. And below this vocabulary, I or me. Uh, I or me, you say, Knyom. Knyom. But for speaking, you, you, you will not hear sound K first before. So we always start with Knyom. Knyom. Mm. So, yeah, when you speak, okay, just say Knyom. Knyom. No need to pronounce K. Okay. And you is Nek. 
So you have to remember in Cambodia, we never say we never call someone nia, or I can say rarely, rarely. We we always use bong, on. That I told you already. Okay, when someone older, you use bong. When someone younger, you use on. And one more, we use the name, name of that guy instead. Like for example, John name is John, so I can call you John. I don't use nia. Okay, so again, I can say, in Cambodian language or for Cambodian people, we never call someone nia, but we always call, we always use bong. We always use own and then one more name. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I I I gonna read this sentence for you again. I'm from America. Okay. The first one we say, "Khom mok pi prote Amerik." And second one, "Khom mau pi prote Amerik." And then the last one, "Khom mau pi Amerik." Okay, so choose which one you want to say. Okay. Okay, as about nationality. Okay, so nationality in Khmer, you, uh, we say Chun Chiet. Chun Chiet. Uh, below is the vocab uh, is is the meaning of the the word nationality. Chun Chiet. Okay, so when someone asks you or you want to ask someone about their nationality, okay, use this. What's your nationality? So you see, I put ne, uh, I put bong or own, yeah, bong or own, and then chun chiet ai, chun chiet ai, okay. So, what's your nationality? Ne chun chiet ai, or bong chun chiet ai, or own chun chiet ai. And then if you are American, you say I'm American. So, the first one you say, "Khom Chun Chiet Amerik." Khom Chun Chiet Amerik. And you have one more option. You can delete Chun Chiet or you can silent Chun Chiet. Because we understand, we talk about national nationality, like the like the sentence we talk about country. You can you can silent country. And this sentence also, you can silent nationality. So you just say, "Khom Amerik." Khom Amerik. Only this is enough to understand. Okay, so I read this sentence for you again. What is your nationality? Bong Chun Chiet Ai. I I use Bong. Bong Chun Chiet Ai. And then I'm American. Khom. Chun Chiet Amerik or Khom Amerik. Okay. As about age. Ah, okay. As about age. So age in Khmer we say are you. Are you. Uh huh. Okay. So in Khmer when you make a question, when you make a question that related to number. To ask about number like what time, how old are you? Okay, we always use the word how much or how many in that sentence. Huh? In that sentence. So, uh, like for example, how old are you? So the meaning is you want to ask about number of the age. Huh? Okay. So, in this sentence in Khmer we say how old uh, how old are you? In Khmer we say bong or old. Okay, born or own, are you? You see, are you? And then, born man, born man. Oh, again, born are you? Born man, or own are you? Born man. So you see, we say, you, age, how many? You, age, how many? Because it's it's refer to number. Okay. And we have two to say. Number one, born are you born man or own are you born man? But you have one more option. You just say born or own are you man? Yeah. So how much or how many born man? Shorter. You just say man. Man. Okay. 
So easy to ask about price, right? When you come to Cambodia and when you go to the market, you want to buy something and just say how much? Yes, just say man, man, okay. Okay, I read the sentence for you again. How old are you? Bong or on? Are you one man? Okay, the first one. And for speaking, Cambodian people, we like to say Bong or on? Are you man? Bong or on? Are you man? Okay. So don't use Bong and on together. Don't, don't be confused. If you say Bong, not on. If you say on, not Bong. Don't use together. Okay. Okay. And here is your answer. Like for example, you are 30 years old. Uh, you are 30 years old or 35 or 40, up to you. Okay. So this sentence, um, 35 years old. Uh, 35 years old. So 30 is Sam Sub. Uh, below is uh, the meaning of the word 30 and year. So 30 Sam Sub. Sam Sub. And year Chnam. Okay, so I'm 30 years old. In Khmer, we say Khnom Ayu Sam Sub Chnam. Khnom Ayu Sam Sub Chnam. And you have one more option. You have three options to say. Okay, the first one already. And number two. <coughs> and number two, you just say Khnom Ayu Sam Sub. So Chnam you can silent it because we understand. Because Chnam is year, right? So you just say I'm 30. I'm 30. Uh, number one, you say I'm 30 years old. And number two, you just say I'm 30. I'm 30. Hmm? Okay. And you have one more to say. You uh, number three, you just say Khnom Sam Sub Chnam. Khnom. Sam sub -shnam. So for number three, I don't use are uh, you in that sentence. Number one, number two, I use age in in that sentence. But for number three, I just say I 30 years. Uh, I 30 years. Uh, number one, number two, I age. I age. Okay. So you have like three options to, to answer when someone asks you about your age. Okay, yes. Okay, so Khnom, Khnom Sam Sub Chnam, Khnom A Yu Sam Sub, Khnom A Yu Sam Sub Chnam. Okay. Okay. Yes. What's your job? What's your job? Mm. So when you want to ask someone about their job, okay, use this sentence. We say, but for speaking, you're gonna hear people say So kang ye you just say ka okay So if you are a teacher, if you are a banker or whatever, okay, like uh, now, my answer is I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Mm. So in Khmer, we say, Khnom Kư Chia Kru Bang Rien. Khnom Kư Chia Kru Bang Rien. Or for speaking, we just say, Khnom Kư Chia Kru. Khnom Kư Chia Kru. Mm. So, Kru Bang Rien or Kru is teacher. Kru Bang Rien or Kru is teacher. And Kư Chia in this sentence like Nhóm Kư Chia Kru. Okay, so Kư Chia in this sentence is M. M. So, to be M is A. In Khmer we say Kư Chia. Kư Chia. But for speaking, you can silent it. So in this sentence, you actually you you have one more option to say. You just say Khnom Kru Bang Rien. You see, uh, no need to to say Kư Chia. You can silent to be. So just say Khnom Kru Bang Rien or Khnom Kru. 
Yeah, nhóm crew. Mm. Okay, and below is the vocabulary for the word job and teacher. So job in Khmer we say kang ear, kang ear, and teacher crew bang rien or just say crew. Okay, I say this sentence for you again. For the job, networking ấy, or just say networking ấy. I'm a teacher. Khnom, cứ chia kru bằng riêng. Or just say khnom, cứ chia kru. Or you have one more way to say khnom kru. Khnom kru, very short. And easy to say, Khnom Kru. Where's your house? Where's your house? Mm. Okay, so where's your house in Khmer we say, Ptah nè nâu nè. Ptah nè nâu nè. But you see, the, the second one, I just say, Ptah, without P first, without P before. So, uh, for the word teh, you just say teh, teh. So teh is house, teh is how. Mm. So there's a can one you say teh ne nơ nè, teh ne nơ nè, nơ nè is where, where, and ne is you, right? Okay. So teh ne nơ nè, where is your house? And then your answer like uh, my house is on street 7 or on street 50 or 100 up to you. Okay, so this sentence, my house is on street 7. My house is on street 7. So in Khmer we say, Phthekhnyom Plale Prampi. Phthekhnyom Plale Prampi. And for speaking, for speaking, you're going to hear, Phthekhnyom. Yeah. You see, pram P is 7. So for speaking, we we, uh, we always say pom, pom, pal. Pom, pal. Mm. Okay, so this sentence again, I say Tehnyom plau lay pom, pal. Tehnyom plau lay pom, pal. Okay, so for vocabulary, Below is house, teh, or you just say teh, and street, plow, number, lake, mm. so street number, plow lake, plow lake, so that sentence means street number seven, plow lake. Okay, so I read this sentence for you again. Where's your house? Or you just say My house is on street 7 Or you just say I come to Cambodia for holiday Okay I come to Cambodia for holiday. This sentence in Khmer we say Khnom Mao Campuchia Samrap holiday. Khnom Mao Campuchia Samrap holiday. So Cambodia in Khmer we say Campuchia. Campuchia. And holiday actually we have its own meaning as well. But uh, I think it's a little bit long and some people they like to say holiday, holiday. So yes, just use this word, easy to say for you. Okay. So I say again, Khnom Mao Campuchia Samrap Holiday. And if you come to Cambodia for work or for working, okay, so you just say Khnom Mao Campuchia Samrap Thvika. Nhóm Mao Campuchia xâm rạp thuê ca To work thuê ca And for preposition for xâm rạp So Nhóm Mao Campuchia xâm rạp thuê ca Ok Ok, so I'm gonna read this sentence for you again I come to Cambodia for holiday 
Nhóm Mao Campuchia xâm rạp holiday I come to Cambodia for working Nhóm Mao Campuchia xâm rạp thuốc cạc 